new images of 3i atlas from the hubble space telescope and from the juice spacecraft with its navigation camera hi everyone we're talking about that wild rock again that's coming from the outside of our solar system it's a really weird visitor from interstellar space that keeps scientists baffled it is not a normal comate and recent images from the space telescope have raised more questions than answers and i want to walk you through what we know so far and what we see on these new images guys it's really really interesting so 3i atlas is the third only the third known object confirmed to come from our outside solar system interstellar object 3i means interstellar object and before astronomers saw 1i Oumuama in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019 so official provisional name for 3i atlas was c slash 2025 n1 atlas it was discovered on july 1st 2025 by the survey telescope project known as atlas in chile that's why it has the name atlas the path of 3i atlas is hyperbolic that means it's not bound to the sun it's just passing through and once it leaves it won't come back it's not circulating that's so important it won't come back now's the time for us to investigate this thing and another reason why this matters nearly everything in our solar system formed together but 3i atlas comes from somewhere else studying it gives us a rare peek inside how other star systems build their worlds and there is a lot that is very odd about interstellar object 3i atlas unlike many comets 3i atlas appears larger than typical interstellar visitors the estimates suggest that it has a nucleus that might be between 440 meters and 5.6 kilometers across and it moves through the inner solar system that means the sun heats it ice turns into gas it supplements it carries dust with it but that fuzzy cloud around its nucleus is this the only thing that it is the fuzzy cloud around the nucleus is always called the coma plus often a tail and in the case of 3i atlas more tails so that part so far sounds like a normal comate but as you know if you watch my channel on a regular basis if not please do so subscribe and check out my 3i atlas playlist really mind-blowing things that 3i atlas does it has shown strange behaviors that are not typical of comates and some scientists think these oddities might indicate something unusual, maybe even artificial. Now we have the new Hubble image. What does it show? On November 30th, 2025, the Hubble Space Telescope has re-observed interstellar object 3i Atlas while it was about 286 million kilometers away from Earth. And the image has revealed this teardrop shaped glow that we already talked about around the object that's the coma but the weird part is the tail or the extension of it it isn't trailing away from the sun instead it's stretching towards the sun this is called the sunward anti-tail that we keep seeing image after image so in this case, the glow radius is roughly 40,000 kilometers and the anti-tail is even larger. It extends about 60,000 kilometers. So normally for comates, solar heating pushes gas and dust away from the sun, making the tail point away from the sun. So the anti-tail towards the sun is very unusual because of this. Some researchers believe that perhaps a swarm of non-volatile, meaning not easily evaporated objects or chunks are separated from 3i Atlas, maybe due to some kind of non-gravitational acceleration that 3i Atlas is displaying. Those chunks could be drifting sunwards, causing that weird glow shape we've talked about this is 3i atlas not alone and what are these objects 
a lot of mysteries. It's not that easy to explain with natural causes. We have the Juice spacecraft picture, another view of 3 Eye Atlas. Came from the navigation camera of Juice, like the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer. And we know 3 Eye Atlas is mysteriously heading right into the hill radius of Jupiter. This is for me the most groundbreaking anomaly. I'll put the video in the end screen. Watch it, guys. It's really, it's really mind blowing when you see what's happening and when it changed the course. So the juice image was taken on November 2nd. That image also shows a coma, a cloud of gas and dust around 3 Eye Atlas and hints of two tails. Sometimes it takes a while for these images to be released or to be processed or to be even made available. And there's more from juice. Juice's scientific instruments also collected data about the shape and the composition of the gas and dust plume of 3 Eye Atlas. The data isn't released yet, so we're impatiently waiting for that. And they say they are expected to be released very, very late in February 2026. One thing that is interesting to mention is that 3 Eye Atlas passed by Juice at a huge speed, much faster than any human-made spacecraft could fly. That is illustrating how how alien and swift this object is, whatever the heck it is, I always say. Interstellar object slash comate slash space junk slash spaceship or whatever the heck it is. Well, what might it be? Of course, we're asking ourselves, natural or something else. Some scientists, including, I'm reporting about him very often, Harvard professor Avi Loeb, um, argue that 3 Eye Atlas's weird behaviors might point to more than just the natural comets. Some of the main ideas and concerns are, and NASA is not addressing them, nor are other scientists addressing them, giving us an explanation that could be natural. That's why the mystery is still there. We have the unusual anti-tail and what looks like a swarm of objects might mean parts of 3 Eye Atlas broke off under some force not solely related to gravity, the non-gravitational acceleration. The composition, the whole composition is another mystery. What kind of ices and dust the object carries might be, or they look right now, very different from typical coal mates from our solar system. That could reflect that it was forming around a different star system in a different environment. For these reasons, some scientists, and that also includes Avi Loeb, suggest we should not dismiss the possibility of 3 Eye Atlas being a technological artifact means something artificial. Doesn't mean it has to be a spaceship with aliens on it, but it could be some like if one of our satellites got lost somewhere else, right? We just had a group of scientists say, well, this could be basically a volcano, a cryovolcano that's passing through our solar system. Why does this all matter? If 3 Eye Atlas is natural, studying it gives us a rare look of or at material that was formed in another star system, around another star. That helps us to understand how planet formation works beyond our solar system. If it's artificial, well, that's a whole different story. Um, if by some slim chance it is technology, the implications would be huge. And I say slim chance, although every anomaly that we have found so far, and it's 15 by now, if you calculate the probability for each of one single, that a natural comet would have that. It's close to zero. And then if you add them up, all anomalies, that a natural object has all these anomalies, the probability is close to zero. Also watch that video. I say it's mind blowing. If it's artificial, that would change or would implicate a huge change for all of us, how we think about life and how we think about engineering beyond our earth and solar system. But guys, definitely either way, Either way, it's a big opportunity and we have multiple observation possibilities like optical spacecraft, ground-based um, that are 
coming in, right? And the updating data from JUICE and further analysis could help us to unravel this mystery. We're still waiting for more data that are supposed to come in on December 19th as well. But the data from JUICE's instruments could tell us about the chemistry of the gas and the dust and maybe confirm the theory that there is a swarm or fragments. Also, observations of how 3i Atlas evolves as it's moving farther from the sun, that might show us whether the weird anti-tail persists or changes into a more normal comet tail. We need spectra data that reveal what ices or chemicals the object contains, water, ice, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, dust, and stuff like this. We could outline differences from our solar system from our comates that might hint at a different origin. And really, I think it's important to have continued scientific debate because science, how Avi Loeb says it, works by questioning, testing, revising. The unusual nature of 3i Atlas forces us to remain humble and curious. Whatever it is, 3i Atlas is a unique, mysterious visitor. It doesn't fit neatly into what we know about comates. The new images from Hubble and Juice are more, add more puzzling details. For now, the safest assumption is that it's a strange thing. <laughs> That's what I would say. The door is open for surprises. We might be looking at a normal comet, at a relic from another star system, or something even weirder that we cannot even imagine. Either way, 3i Atlas rem reminds us how much we still don't understand about the universe. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hype, like it, share it with your friends. What do you think 3i Atlas is? Leave me a comment, guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. If you want to support the channel, link is in the description. Thank you for doing so, buying me coffees, supers, becoming members to support the channel. New video will come for my members very, very soon. And click here in the end screen. I would love to see you in the next one in a second. Stay safe, guys.